welcome back i hope you all are safe and taking care of yourself and your loved ones in today's video we will be looking at networker pro based backups pro based backup is the process of controlling backup based on certain conditions on the client machine so in networker this is achieved by using the nsr pro resource this can be done by probing the networker client for a user defined script before the start of a scheduled backup operation this user defined script is any program that passes a return code to the calling service which is the networker scheduled backup the networker server detects the script runs the code and can interrupt two return codes Return code 0 indicates that a client backup is required, which means that whenever a return code of 0 is sent back to the networker server, the backup action which is scheduled to run after the probe action is run successfully. Whereas if the return code is 0, that would indicate that a client backup is not required, which means after the probe action the next action which is the backup action would not be triggered and will be ignored or skipped anything other than a zero or a one as a return code will cause the probe action to fail which in turn would cause the workflow to fail as well now there is an argument stating that the return code one should also indicate as a failure because the backup is not done but again if a return code of 0 and 1 it would indicate that a script has returned a value defined by the user to set if the backup has to run or not now what are your thoughts on this argument let me know in the comments below the first step is to create the respective strip scripts on the client but you cannot just name it anything and place it anywhere you want the name of the script should always start with save or NSR. The later part of the script or the second part of the script name can be anything that would define the purpose of the script. And also the script has to be placed in the same location as the networker binaries. So it is C program files, EMC networker, NSR bin in Windows and slash USR slash S bin when it comes to Linux. So for this demo, we will be configuring the probe based backup for a Windows machine as well as on a client machine. So before configuring the probe resource, let me quickly show you what I have created here for the client defined uh, script. Now again, I am in the location C program files, EMC networker NSR bin, which is the location wherein all the Networker binaries are placed and if I scroll down, I will find my script here, which is NSR probe. So this is the batch file that I have created. If we take a look inside the file, I'll see that I just have uh, some variable and I'm just displaying that variable onto the console. And I'm just exiting with a return code 1. So in our uh, demo, 1 indicates that a backup is not required. So let's keep that as it is. And go back or go into our NMC. Let's launch the NMC host. I've launched the Networker Administration Console. Let me go ahead and create a probe resource for configuring a probe based backup for our windows machine so let's go ahead and go to probe right click and say new probe so there are very limited options here as you can see nothing much let's name give a name to the probe let's call it a windows probe or you could name it anything which is relevant to the task that you are doing and the name of the probe let's quickly check that is nsr underscore probe dot bat so it is nsr underscore probe dot bat i'm not going to provide any input uh, options or command options 
So command options is basically the additional input uh, uh, input argument that you could add. Now make keep in mind that this is not the only input uh, argument that would be sent to the uh, to the script. There are also other uh, switches and details that are sent. So I'll show them to you when we run the backup for this. Let's click on OK for now. Next, let's create a client which would be triggered using this probe based backup. So now I already have a client here. So let's use this client, which is DC1, which is the same server. We kept the resource on. Let's go to, let's just change this. Let's make it something smaller. Uh, let's select something small. Let's say, let's say documents and settings, All right? Let's uncheck everything else. And then you go to apps and modules. And here on the right bottom corner, you have a section for probe. And there we are going to select the probe resource that we have just created and click OK. And that's about it. That is all the configuration that is required on the client side. Now let's go in and create the appropriate workflow and actions for this probe based backup. So for that, we start with creating a policy. Right click, new. Let's say probe based backup demo. Let's click on OK and no workflows. Let's create a workflow. Let me call this probe hyphen win. Name whatever you want to name. We'll create a protection group now and I'll just leave it whatever default name it has taken and let's select the client that we had created for this so which is DC1 and you can see that the save set is C documents and settings and click on OK. Now that is done. Now let's go ahead and create the action. So now for probe based backup, you need a probe action. So probe action should be the first action that you want to uh, do here or at least the action before the backup uh, action itself. So let's select the probe action. Uh, we're going to leave everything to default so it runs every day. So uh, start the backup only after all probes. So click on next. Leave it all as default and click on configure. Then just let's add a backup action. So a backup action is just a normal backup action. I'm just going to leave everything as default except for our destination pool. Uh, let's go and click next and configure. Now that our backup probe action is in place, the backup action is in place, I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And let's go ahead and start this workflow. Now remember that the the return value set on the script is one, which means that it does not need a backup. So now you see that the probe is running. And if you see the status here, you will see that the probe has completed successfully, but the backup action did not run. So let's go ahead and look at the details on how this looks like. So these are the messages that show you the summary of the probe. So uh, all it mentions is that a probe job was run on DC1 and that the probe that was run is with this particular command. So if you see, you can see all the switches that we use. So as mentioned, uh, you can add additional arguments on the probe resource. And you would also be able to see the details of the output of your probe or user-defined script in this log file here. So let me just show you quickly what the log file contained. Let's say cat and paste and hit enter. So 
So this is the echo output from our log. So if you saw, we had an echo off and then just an echo of um, the uh, string and minus s is the first switch here because so if I take you back to the script, you will see that you will see that I was taking an argument from the command line and just displaying it here. So let's go ahead and change this to zero, which means that the backup should now run after a successful probe. So let's go ahead and save that and close that and switch back to our NMC. Let's start the backup now. All right, you'll see that the probe is successful and the backup is now in progress. So let's go ahead and take a look at the details. And if you scroll all the way at the bottom, it will be mentioned that the probe action indicating backup needed, all client probes indicated backup needed. And then the backup action is run because of the exit code zero. Now let me just show you the earlier output which is this one and if I scroll all the way to the bottom when our return code was 1 and it mentions that the probe action indicating backup not needed. So this is when the error code is 1. So let's see what happens if the code is neither 1 nor 0. So let's go ahead and edit our action again and let me just put something like 23 maybe any number i just wanted to show you what happens at when this hap uh, when this is done and also what kind of errors you see so that you will be able to troubleshoot when you have any issue so let's go ahead and start the backup or the workflow now that our probe is running all right so now you will see the output here that the probe action has actually failed because if I scroll down here uh, it will show you that the custom backup probe for client DC1 exited unexpectedly and this is because it was expecting a 0 or 1 but it got something else as the uh, return and because this probe action failed none of the actions after this particular action would run so that is why the backup action again is not run and it is marked with this gray indication that the backup was not run. So this is basically how um, probe-based backup is configured. Now before we wind up, I'll quickly take you through the configuration on a Windows or on a Linux machine as well. So on Linux machine, I have the probe file right here, which is under the location USR SPIN. And the name of my file is nsrprobe.sh. And if we can take a look inside this, it is again a very simple uh, command here. It has, it is just uh, printing something on the console and then it is giving a return of, return value of zero. So zero indicates that the backup should succeed. So let me just copy this, go back to our NMC protection. Let's create a new probe action, this time for Linux. So let's call it Linux probe. Mention the command here, and that's about it. Let's go ahead and create the client. Let's say new client properties, and this client hostname is Oracle1. Um, let me again give a small save set. The most important step here is to assign the probe, appropriate probe, which is Linux probe here. Click on OK. And now, now that the action is created, I can go ahead and create a new workflow. Let's call it probe uh, Linux. Create a new group leave it whatever name it has taken select the clan that we had select ok now that our protection group is created let's go ahead and create the actions so first action being probe now this is going to be very similar to how we configured the probe based backup for windows so next and then configure 
and then we add the backup action uh, next I'm just gonna change the pool everything else remains the same and click OK so let's go ahead and trigger this so since we are returning a zero the backup should work the probe is running I'm going to show details now the probe is completed successfully as you see and the backup is started if you want to go and check the messages you will see that the probe action indicating backup needed and the backup is going to work again if you want to change it you can go ahead and change the uh, exit code to one and the backup is not going to run like how the backup for the probe based backup for windows work the same way you can change the exit code or the return code on the script and the networker will behave in a similar manner so this is all i had for probe based backup in networker thanks for sticking with me till the end of this video i hope you found this useful if you have any questions or comments share it with our community in the comment section below or you can drop me a message at my Twitter account. I will see you on another video. Goodbye.